During our meeting today, the Prosecutor General and I exchanged updates on our work with the Ukraine Joint Investigative Team, or JIT. Anchored by a partnership between seven countries, the JIT is investigating core international crimes committed in Ukraine. During my trip to Lviv last month, I signed a memorandum of understanding that formalizes and facilitates our cooperation and coordination with the JIT. As we discuss today, to further strengthen this partnership, the Justice Department will detail an experienced prosecutor to the International Center for the Prosecution of the Crime of Aggression Against Ukraine, which is hosted by the JIT. The prosecutor will be based in The Hague at Eurojust, the European Union Agency for Criminal Justice Cooperation. Our Ukrainian colleagues are also assisting us with our investigations that are led by the War Crimes Accountability Team into potential war crimes over which the United States possesses criminal jurisdiction. These include crimes in which American citizens have been harmed or killed. At the same time, Congress has recently expanded the Justice Department's authority to prosecute alleged war criminals who are found here in the United States. This means that in the years and the decades ahead, Russian war criminals who set foot in our country should expect to find themselves before U.S. courts of law. We will do everything we can to help Ukraine achieve justice for its people, and we will work for as long as it takes to hold accountable under law those who bear responsibility for the Russian regime's brutal crimes. Our common goals are to build a web of comprehensive accountability for international crimes, allowing no impunity for war crimes, crimes against humanity, genocide and the crime of aggression, and to strengthen global coalition for justice so that there are no safe heavens for perpetrators anywhere in the world. I believe that if we uphold our unity and cooperation, these goals are achievable.